short piece of elastic and mill oh, millimetres offline is going to be very expensive here. Andy Middlehurst must keep it neat and tidy, but Marks, he's got the experience of leading these races and winning them. Absolutely, he's looking for his sixth win uh, in this race. That's something that eluded uh, Mark Gillies in ERAR 3A yesterday, denied by Callum Lockie again in the Maserati 6CM in the uh, early Grand Prix car race, but Carlos Sacco looking very determined. Has he got a good run out of Madwick? Does he look a little bit closer as they pass another back marker there yeah. towards Fort Walter? Just chasing right in the Darrington Francis was really keeping his eyes on the mirrors. He just knew that there's something coming up behind him, and they flash by. And pulling off, this is one of the short, oh no, this is the Brabham, isn't it? Pulling off, so, yeah, but this is where it all went wrong for the Lotus. Watch the Ferrari side through with those distinctive sky blue wheels. He didn't lift at all because the gaps opened up for him. Everybody saw Middlehurst coming and through they went. Now the yellows were where the car went off. Hopefully that was a clean pass, and here we go, Carsacco again challenging for the lead. He's got another run going on the Lotus, and again Middlehurst takes middle and leg. He keeps the car on the defensive inside line, and Colasaco is going to have to find another way round. And Richard Atwood, four times winner uh, of this race, he won it back in 2000. He's up into third place. 77-year-old Richard Atwood ahead of John Milicevic. Martin Streffen's had an autocross moment here at St Mary's, but recovered. Yeah, Martin Stratton dropped down to seventh. He's got back in front of car number three, which was Ben Mitchell's Black Lola. Oh, before he went autocrossing. Yeah, well, that was, that's absolutely right, before he went autocrossing. So, Richard Atwood, how far away is he from John Milosevic? He was only three tenths of a second at the line. Atwood could be on the podium here. And will it be Colosarco that wins in the Ferrari?